Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. And uh, this one we're taking a look at the OP back guide. So each DLC we always have a mission where we have to do like the duos, the alerts, stuff like that. And we get some uh, some marks in a weapon box. This time around, once you complete it, it's going to open up a new mission from Dr. Cell Chartles in the uh, open world. And this one's going to be Recover the Salvage Brutal Logic Wings from Brainiac Flash to the Future. So unfortunately you do have to reset the raid again uh, if you haven't already done that. But uh, this is how you earn the OP back. So they kind of threw a little bit of a curveball at us this time. Uh, do, do you uh, mix it up? We normally just drops off the regular loot table or we just get it automatically from mission. Uh, but this one was a little bit secret. So once you complete the... not You don't have to do the first three waves. Just the first wave of, of Flash to the Future will get on the loot table. So if we scroll down the bottom you'll see it here. Salvage Brutal Logic Wings. And now, if once you finish the raid, so you, you do have to complete the other two bosses, you can't just, unless you want to skip out on a pug or something like that, but it's not ideal. And then once we go back to the uh, open world, you'll see Smart Scrapper Feet, so we get a free 10 star, as well as a transistor towards uh, the experience. So if we go to the vendor, we're going to see the secondary change they made with the, how the OP uh, items are earned. So if we scroll over to the Omnipotent's gear, so this one, they put weekly limits on how you get the catalyst. Uh, so what that means is that if you put in you know, 15 times 6 marks, you can't get any more until the weekly reset. Same thing with the Overseer Neural Nets. Uh, you can only get three of those a week, and the Brainiac Gyroscopes, you can only get one per week. Uh, so the intention was that uh, it kind of slowed down progression somewhat. Uh, yes, artificially, but it, it just so that people weren't always like maxing out the OP back like day one, something like that. Uh, it's meant to be more, a little bit more spread out. Uh, and then the Data Max 6, those are just like the uh, straight catalyst you need for 30 marks each. So the I wouldn't say the temp was very successful. I mean, you could still get them all on the, on the marketplace. Uh, sorry, on the marketplace, the broker in the game. So, I mean, with the sheer amount of players doing it and selling it, then that's what happened. So we got the first rank here. Required six of the uh, transistors and then three, oh, sorry, two, one, and one. So each time, if you aren't aware, once you level up uh, the OP back uh, in the artifact sequence, if you go to the, the milestone 10 rank, the highest one, it'll show you what experience you need. So we click on it here, it's going to be showing 8,500. Now you still can get crits, so if you want to maximize and save the most money you can, put individual transistors in each uh, one rather than like a stack. Uh, because one could individually crit and then you have less experience that you need overall but you'll need a bare minimum of the uh, 8500 experience to be able to reach that which would be in this case it'd be 17 so yes i'm putting more experience than i need into it but uh if you are say you didn't crit like mine did the first time then you would need at least that 17. and besides that you just need uh, four one and two And like I said before, the or sorry, actually, I don't think I said it before. The, in terms of the sources where it drops, the data matrix six you can only get on the uh, broker there, uh, on that vendor uh, from Cobblepot, and the other ones are spread up between like the duos, the alerts, the raids, open world boxes, such and stuff. But it, it tell you the the sources right there. So like I said before, sixteen thousand five hundred experience. Technically, you can break that off, or uh, just hope for some crits. Me, I'm just putting individual stacks in. I'm not too worrying about it, but uh, if you do want to save your money, because the, the transistors are the most expensive uh, part of the OP back. I think they're like 20 mil each or something like that, depending on what server you play on. Now we get to milestone rank 15, so you need six in your own net. So Queen's Row, you know, Flash, uh, Fantastic Voyage, Flash the Future, Large Loot Cache. So it tells you all the sources right there. So that, that is handy, so you don't have to guess where to get them. So now we're looking at the 20 rank. This is where I kind of struggle about marks because the, the four of the, uh, I mean, if 30 marks times four, so it uh, adds up real quick to 120 marks in the last ranks, 150 marks. So it, uh, it does uh, for rank 20, rank 25, you do have to do a little bit more farming. So it was helpful that this was a two times weekend. So now we've got the XP, we've got nine, two, and four. And at the end of the video, I will put up on the screen and in the comment section as well, just the total amount of what you need in terms of like XP transistors, uh, during, oh, the uh, Overseer Neural Nets, the um, uh, Data Matrices, and the Gyroscopes, just so you're aware of. And we're at the final rank here, rank 25. So 15, or sorry, 12, 3, and 5. So that'll be up on the screen here, as well as you can look in the comment section. And that gives us the Avatar of Omnipotence.
And then once you complete that, you will be granted the enhanced version of that style. So we'll pop over and show you the styles here. So going on to Brutal Logic. And we've got the, the style here. So I have the Zeus Corm on it right away. You can kind of see there. I mean, personally, in my opinion, it looks a lot nicer in like smaller spark characters or like women's styles. Um, it looks a, a tad bit kind of bulkish on like a, I'm, I'm not even a large style here. I think I'm like a, a medium um, athletic, I think, build. But not entirely a fan of how it looks on larger characters. But I've seen it on a bunch of small ones and it actually looks pretty decent. And if we go to the enhanced style, not that I'm sure most people will see the enhanced style because I'm sure they'll put like a material or a chroma on it. All these enhanced styles have kind of gone the way of the Dota Bird. There's no one no one who looks at them. But in terms of what that actual will glow here, you can kind of see the uh, the intricacies of the uh, Brutal Logic back there and how they shine with the enhanced style. So personally, I mean, the enhanced style looks good, but you have to get right up on it to be able to see the effects. That's why most people just put chromos or materials on them. So, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.